Uh, okay, so it still looks gross out there right now. It is. It's wet. Yeah, we've had a lot of rain over the last couple of days, right? Everyone's felt it. They've traveled through it. They've done whatever. They've stayed away from it, maybe played some board games. But we're at uh, over five inches now for the month of December. That's great for us. We've needed rain. We also need the snow up on the mountain, and we'll take the combination of both right now while we can get it as we kind of hunt through a winter. Well, winter's officially tomorrow, but... You know, since we've gotten into December, we've had more rain and plenty of snowfall. So here's where we are for the month so far. We are above normal, and uh, we can use that. But when it comes in a large dose, just a, a mammoth dose like we had uh, over the last few days, sometimes we have some minor flooding issues, and we've had some trees down, and some issues uh, along some of the rivers in the creek. So please be careful if you're doing some traveling. Here's the four-day rain total list there. Vancouver, just about two and a half inches. That goes for Portland. Salem, though, look at that. Over three and a half inches going back to 3 p.m. on Saturday. So, yes, it's very busy and it's still raining right now. So these totals will likely go a little bit higher by the time we wrap up the day today. I'll show you the observed rain going back about 11 days. So we've had a couple soaking days. The 11th there, we had some heavy rain. We had kind of moderate showers in between that. But then there's, there's Saturday at 1.26 inches in Portland. Yesterday, uh, 0.85. And then today... We're at nearly a half an inch here in Portland, but you can see that Salem's over an inch and a quarter just about. So kind of depending on where you're at, the central and southern areas of the Willamette Valley picked up more rain today because everything kind of settled a little bit farther to the south and it was drier to the north. Uh, and then we had plenty of moisture to the east, which actually uh, ended up being snowfall for I-84 corridor from the Dalles over towards Hood River. It was very snowy. You can see the snow coming out of the camera right now. All right, so it's getting pretty dark out there. Watch out for the clouds and the wet roads if you're going to be out again tonight. Now, although the rain is as strong and as intense as it's been, uh, we still maybe will have a couple of light showers and we'll likely have some puddles out there too. There's Lincoln City and there's Mount Hood Meadows where they've had about 20 inches of snowfall. Skis and snowboards are just ready to get up there. We have plenty of moisture still to the south of us, but as I mentioned to the north, it's drying up. And this is pretty much the last batch of rain right here. As this falls apart late tonight, we just see drier conditions as we head into our Tuesday. But watch out for that rain if you're going to be traveling to the south tonight. All right, 42 degrees coming out of Portland. Plenty of winter air just to the north of us. We're actually watching uh, more winter air that's up to the northwest. Find a way down to the south through the Gulf of Alaska, right over the Pacific Northwest by the time we get close to Christmas. That's why you're starting to hear some rumbles about cold air on the way. We're trending colder and we may have some snowfall. Well, look at that. By the time we head into Saturday and Sunday, it really settles in. I mean, this is some very cold air and this would help promote some snowfall around the region. You can see how the temperatures take a drop. I mean, we go from about mid to upper 40s, which is where we should be right now, down to maybe only seeing high temperatures in the lower 30s next week. So all eyes on uh, the late uh, section of December and the early part of January. All right, Futurecast is going to help show us how we dry out tomorrow morning. Here's the early hours. Yeah, it's just cloud coverage out there. I'm hoping that we actually break through the clouds and get some sunshine, but I would count on it being mostly cloudy for tomorrow. Rain does return late Tuesday night into Wednesday. By Wednesday, we have another round of mountain snowfall, and that's going to be on and off on Thursday, heading into Friday as well. So travel is going to get a little more tough as we head into about midweek towards the end of the week, especially through the mountains and maybe some of the pass passes there if you're heading into eastern Oregon. By the time we head into Saturday, look at this. With all that moisture around and we cool down, it's going to be very close to maybe seeing some snowfall. In fact, I think we may get some snowfall late Saturday there for Christmas. So that could be exciting. All right, so here we go. Seven day forecast, 45 tomorrow. I have us at 47 on Wednesday, slightly warmer. And then we're down to the 40s, as I mentioned, Friday and Saturday. And then there you go. Saturday heading into Sunday, those temperatures drop to the mid 30s. Overnight temperatures down into the lower 30s. I think we're going to see some snow probably heading into the weekend and some cold temperatures there. Yeah, no right. problem for Santa though, right, Joseph? It's never a problem. Actually, no, never. He's no. used to it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank <laughs> Thanks, you. Yes. Hey, taking a look.